Want to customize your version of Mac 3? Here's how. Hello fellow CNC nuts and welcome. One of the best ways to customize Mac 3 is by installing a screen set. I got an email earlier this week from Jim Sensicola of the Totally Wood Workshop. He asks how to install a Mac 3 screen set and customize it with a personalized picture like I have on my machine. He also asks where are the settings for the pendants stored? Are they stored in the Mac 3 XML file or in the screen set? Let's have a look. So this is the basic Mac 3 screen set as it is when you first install Mac 3. If we go up here to view, we can go to load screens. If we zip down to the bottom here, will show us what screens are available. Now when we first install it, there are only two. We have the 1024 set, which it's currently running, and we have the Plasma set. If I click Plasma set, and go OK, the screen set will now change. And while it looks similar to the other one, you can see here we have a torch on and off, and over here we have our fixtures. If we go back to view, go load screens, and go down to the bottom again, we'll pick the 1024 set, go open, and here's the set that we are familiar with. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go and download some new screens. So I've come to the Mac 3 website. You can see here, software and download, so I'm going to click on Mac 3. This takes me to a new page and down the left hand side here we have screen sets. Click on that and it takes us off to the screen set page. It tells us there are three screen set types available. They come in .m3s, .zip and .swf files. Below that we have our screen set designers and below that we have here various screen sets that people have made. Let's just click on this one. You can see here the screen set, what it will look like, a little bit about the screen set itself, and a download link should we wish to install it. If you wish to install this one here, simply click the link and it will be downloaded onto your PC. I've downloaded several screen sets here. I'm going to start with this one here, Mac Pink. This is a dot m3s file. I'm going to double click on the file and it should install. And as you can see here it says screen set installed. If we go up here to view and load screen sets hopefully we should now have a new screen set available. And here it is here, Mac 3 Pink Set. I'm going to go Mac 3 Pink Set go open and there it is there our new screen set is installed now you'll notice that the m3s file is missing from the directory here and that's perfectly normal when you install a file like that it automatically deletes once it's installed so it pays to back it up before doing so we're now going to look at the mac blue setup this is an a zip file so I'm going to double click on it until I get to here, Mac3 underscore setup dot exe. Double click on that and it'll bring up a wee warning there and then it opens an installation screen. What I have to do is click next, accept the license and keep clicking next until it gets to here. This here is showing the directory where Mac3 is kept. Mine is on the default one of C slash Mac 3, so I'll just keep going and it will automatically install. It's as simple as that. Let's now have a look at Mac 3. We'll go view, load screens, and we should have a new screen set here. And there it is there, Mac Blue. Double click on it, 
and load our new screen scene. Let's go back and look at the last zip file I have here. It's the three axis router screen set. Again, this is a zip file, but it's slightly different from the other ones. When I open it up, it has a Mac3 folder, a bitmaps, and a router.set file. I'm going to start by copying the router.set file. Then I'm going to go and open my Mac3 folder on my hard drive, which is the C drive Mac3. And I'm just going to right click and go paste which puts it into the Mac3 directory. I'll now go back and look in the bitmaps file. In that folder there's a file called router. If I double click on there you can see it's just some PNG picture files. I'm going to copy the router directory. I'm going to go back to the C drive Mac3 and in Mac3 we have a folder also called bitmaps. Double click on that right click and go paste and that pastes that router folder into there let's go back to Mac 3 I can simply go view load screens come down and I'll find my router dot set and there is the new screen set even when you've got to do it manually it's still very simple to do now I was unable to find an example of the .swf for file format. It says here that these are uh, screen sets designed using a flash plugin. Uh, all I have to do is simply download the file, copy the .swf file into the Mac3 installation directory, which is normally C slash Mac3, and then open Mac3 as normal and load the screens as I've shown you here. So again, .swf files are very easy to install as well. So now that we have the new screen set that we like installed on our machine, we can turn our attention to a customized splash screen. We're all familiar with the splash screen that first displays when we start Mac 3. But if you want, you can customize that to your own requirements. If we look on the C drive at the Mac3 directory and go into the bitmap file directory, you'll see here the three splash screens that we quite often see when we start Mac3. These are displayed randomly when it starts. Now if you don't want it to display a splash screen at all, simply delete them. Now when Mac3 starts, it won't show a splash screen at all. In my case, I'd like a custom one. So I created these three splash screens, which I'll now put into the Mac 3 bitmap directory. Now you'll notice they're all the same. You need to have three files there and if you want it to show the same one every time, you need to make them all the same. You need to call them Splash, Splash 1, and Splash 2. Note that they are bitmap files. If we take a closer look at them, you'll see that the bitmap files measure 400 bits by 240 bits. They're all 24-bit files. So if you want a custom Splash screen, simply create files of that size, save them as bitmaps and put them into the bitmap directory of Mac3. Now when it opens, you'll see your custom splash screen come up before Mac3 starts. And now the question of where our pendant settings are stored. And in actual fact they're stored in two different places. Part of the configuration is stored in the XML file for our machine and the other part is stored in the screen set. If you've installed a pendant and you've customized some of the keys on there, then you need to back up both those items. You should be backing them up anyway. When you set up your pendant initially, 
you have to go through and do the hotkeys. And those hotkeys are stored in the Mac3 XML file. If you've gone through like mine and customized certain of the keys, like on here, I had my jog, feed rate keys, and some other ones customized to suit me, then they're stored in the Mac3 screen set. So when you do a backup, remember to back up everything. Well, I hope you found that useful and you can now go out and install a Mac3 screen set that suits both you and your machine. Just bear in mind, not every screen set on that page is free. Some of them you do need to pay for. Well, that pretty much rounds it up for this week. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Cheers.